Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here with episode number one of my How to Fund 101 series. Because stats are so important and are essentially what determine whether or not you're funded, I figured it'd be the best place to start. With that being said, today I'm going to be explaining as best as I can what each stat essentially does for your character in MapleStory. Now, for the sake of simplicity and understanding, I'm going to explain each stat in lay terms, so we won't be looking at the nitty gritty and the formulas behind each stat, as it's not nearly as important as understanding the basics of each stat and their role. I've also listed these stats in priority from the highest priority to the least in terms of getting these stats on your potentials. To briefly explain this order, you're already going to have a ton of flat stats from leveling up which gives you 5 flat stat points per level. And you're going to have a lot of flat weapon attack from scrolling your equips, mainly your weapons, which also gives a lot of flat stats as well. But let's not get into scrolling and potentials, as that's for a future episode of this series, so look forward to that as well. Percent main stat is one of the most important stats of them all. Fortunately, it's also the easiest stat to achieve in high quantities. Percent main stat simply amplifies the amount of stat your character has both innately from leveling up, also known as your base stat value, as well as amplifying the bonus flat amount of stats you get from your equipment. Percent attack or magic attack is similar to percent main stat in that it amplifies your character's total weapon attack amount gained through the rest of your equipment, such as your weapon. The weapon attack stat is very important and works in conjunction with your total amount of main stat. Keeping a balance between these two stats, which I'll touch on in a future episode, is slightly important later on for optimal damage increase. Percent boss damage is quite obviously the extra amount of damage you'll do when attacking what MapleStory classifies as a boss monster. If you have 100% boss damage, for example, you'll be doing essentially two times your regular damage on boss monsters. PDR, also known as Percent Ignore Enemy Defense, is often tricky for people to understand. Partially because the acronym PDR can stand for a collage of different words, many of which will grant the same result. I personally like to think of PDR as Pierce Defense Rate when using the term PDR among other maplers. What PDR really stands for is Percent Damage Reduction, but the way us maplers use it is as a synonym word or acronym for the stat Percent Ignore Enemy Defense. PDR is a stat that most bosses and even some mobs have, which indicates the amount of a mapler's damage that said boss can negate or ignore. So what having ignore enemy defense on your character does is it allows your character to ignore a portion of said boss's damage reduction. For example, say your character has 75% PDR or IED, and the boss Sakam has 200% damage reduction. Your 75% ignore enemy defense will negate 150% out of Zakum's total 200% damage reduction since 75% of 200 is 150. Keep in mind that percent ignore enemy defense is multiplicative within itself, therefore making reaching 100% ignore enemy defense unattainable. Percent total damage works the exact same way as percent boss damage. However, percent total damage also affects your damage range and works on all mobs whether a boss monster or just a regular mob. Because you can get percent boss potentials in much higher quantities than you can get percent total damage potentials, you're always much better off going with either percent attack potentials or percent boss potentials. Flat weapon or magic attack gives your character that raw fighting power and as mentioned earlier works with your amount of stat to ensure your character hits hard. The weapon attack stat plays a major role in MapleStory's damage calculators and formulas, so as you may imagine, it's important to have as much of this stat as possible. You may also want to keep in mind that the higher your flat weapon attack, the more your percent weapon attack has to work with and amplify. Flat main stats are very similar to flat weapon or magic attack, however this is not a stat you want to have any priority on when you're cubing your equipment's potentials. Although, if you have the option between choosing some flat main stat, or accuracy or avoidability, I'm pretty sure you know which one to go for. Flat and percent secondary main stat are not even important, however they do play a slight role in the damage calculator for MapleStory. So if you guys have the option of taking these stats over some accuracy or avoidability, just like flat main stats, then go ahead and do so, but you're going to have enough of this to be good from the scrolling from your equipment and other various things. There are also the minimum and maximum crit damage stats, however these stats are extremely hard to obtain, but do help an incredible amount, especially if you have a 100% critical rate on your Mabel character. 
The minimum crit stat expresses just that, the minimum amount in which your critical hits can do. For example, if you have 60% min crit, your critical hits will do at minimum 1.6 times or 160% of your regular non-critical damage. Meaning if you hit 3 mil damage every single non-crit line, then at minimum your crits will do 4.8 mil damage. The same rule applies to max crit damage, except it represents the maximum amount of damage your critical hits can do. So evidently, both min and max crit help boost all of your damage whether it be on mobs or bosses. Now that you know what each stat essentially does for your MapleStory character, stick around for episode 2 where I'll be covering just how much of each stat you should aim for and give you guys a sort of layout to see how much stat and what stats you should aim for on each of your equipment. If you guys would like a more in-depth touch on the subject which includes weapon multipliers and damage formulas and a lot of math, then leave a comment suggesting so in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching this has been a soulful production, be sure to leave a like if this video helped you in any way as intended, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on future episodes of this series because I promise you that each and every single one of these episodes that I push out to you guys will contain vital information for yours and your character's success. And until next time guys, consider yourself one step closer to where you want to be. Peace.